what's up friends, fans, enemies, and all those watching. This video is exactly what it says on the tin. I'm reading fish facts over a speed paint of a rainbow fish, which by the way, the, the speed paint looks like this, as in looks like shit, because my original screen recording was corrupted, so I had to record the IBS Paint X speed paint. Anyway, shout out to IBS Paint X, I actually really like it as an artistic plot. Also, just a disclaimer, I'm not a fishologist, whatever the fucking term is. I'm not that. I can't verify if a single one of these facts are true. I hope they are, but I cannot verify that. Do your own research, sheeple. Let's get on to the fish facts, because that is almost certainly what you're here for. Can't believe it, you know. Bitches only want me for my fish facts. One. Despite having it in their names, jellyfish, starfish, and crayfish are not fish. They're dirty fucking liars. Lying fish, that's what they should be called. Number two. While the often quoted number of fish species is 20,000, it has been estimated that there could be another 20,000 species of fish that have not been discovered yet. Number three. The world's smallest fish is a Filipino fish called the tiny gobby, and it measures about half an inch long when in adulthood. Four. Certain fish have teeth that they use to chew their food. This is bad and a sin and an affront to God. Number five. Since fish breathe oxygen rather than just water itself, they are in fact able to drown. Number six. The earliest species of fish that scientists have discovered did not have jaws. Number seven. And the first fish to have jaws did not have teeth. And it should have stayed that way. Those dirty fucking fish should have never developed teeth. Number eight. Most fish have a brain that is about one fifteenth the size of a bird's brain. Number nine. Fish can in fact be sunburned. Number 10. Sharks have eyelids, but no eyelashes. Kind of a shame, honestly. Number 11. Electric eels can release more power than a car battery. I would suggest that we start using electric eels as a form of renewable energy, but I'm pretty sure that some kind of animal cruelty would be necessary for that. Oh well. Also, they can release enough energy to kill a horse. Number 13. Flying fish don't actually fly. Kind of a bummer, honestly. Number 13. Schools of fish do in fact have leaders. Sort of like teachers, if people actually listen to teachers when they were at school. Number 14. The oldest fish alive was the Australian lungfish, which at the time that this was recorded was 65 years old. And Wow, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think fish were capable of living past, like, age 10. I just kind of assumed they all just died. Except for, like, sharks. I'm pretty sure sharks live to, like, 20 on average, but I, I don't know. I'm not a sharkologist. Most fish have taste buds all over their body, which honestly sounds fucking awful considering the sheer amount of piss in the ocean. Like, that sounds like it would be a fucking nightmare. Oh my god, I'm so glad humans only have taste buds on our tongues. Like, that shit would be awful if we had taste buds all over our bodies. Imagine just walking and then you taste the dirt. 16. Fish actually have really good memories. Like, they can remember people that feed them and stuff. And also, fish can remember other fish. So if a fish is cleaned regularly by another fish, it can remember which fish has cleaned it. Number 17. Despite not having vocal cords, fish can still communicate with other fish and do so really effectively through a mix of sounds, motions, electrical pulses, and scents. While mammals have been on Earth for around 200 million years, fish have actually been around for around 450 million years. They're like the senior citizens of the animal kingdom or whatever. Number 19. A female sunfish can lay around 300 million eggs during one egg-laying season. I would say delicious, but I don't think I've had fish eggs before, so maybe they are gross as fuck. Number 20. Some fish will hold eggs and baby fish in their mouths until they can swim on their own, and those fish won't eat while this is going on, supposedly. And this takes a few weeks, so like, are we sure these fish didn't take a little nibble, a little bite? Are we sure? 
I don't think we are. Number 21. Catfish have nearly 300,000 taste buds and humans have only 9,000 or so. So I'm gonna be thinking about special fish tastes forever. I really wanna know the special fish tastes. Same thing for the special shrimp colors, actually. That sounds like such a cool fucking thing. Shrimp don't even seem, shrimp don't need to see magenta because they can just see color. Number 22, goldfish can actually live for decades. So if your goldfish dies after just a few years or even a few days, um, it is in fact your fault completely. It's your fault entirely and you should feel ashamed in yourself. Number 23, the largest fish was a whale shark, which was approximately 41 and a half feet long. And then 24, alongside being the largest fish, whale sharks also lay the largest eggs, which does make sense. Number 25, the giant squid is the biggest creature without a backbone, which is very interesting. Now what I want you to do is imagine a squid with a backbone. Imagine the squid has a spine. Imagine the squid stands up for its beliefs, okay? You're imagining it? Good. Now imagine squid gore. Number 26. Fish have a biological radar. Number 27. The first public aquarium was unfortunately British. It was opened in London in 1853, which would put it in the Victorian era. Aquarium actually poses quite the conundrum for me personally because while well, I love aquariums and I'm a big fan of fish, I'm a big fish enjoyer, you see. I hate British people. You know what else was British? Number 28, the largest fish fossil. It was found in England in 2003 and was 72 feet long. I think that's too big, personally. I think fish should fit in 10 pound aquariums, unless they're squid, in which case I think squid should be kraken sized. Number 29, American lobsters live longer than most cats and dogs, which is very sad. To counteract this issue, I think we should genetically engineer cats that live longer and also kill more lobsters. I love seafood. Number 30, the African lungfish can survive for years out of water encased in mud since they breathe air. What they'll do is they will basically cover themselves in mud when the lake they live in is drying up and then they'll just wait for it to rain again and for their lake to get more water and they can do that since they breathe air. You know, they will, they breathe air not through absorbing oxygen out of the water which I, I think that is honestly one of the more interesting facts on this list. That's it for the factual section of this video. I'd just like to wish everyone watching this a lovely December. Hope your exams went well. Uh, tune in later. I'm going to be publishing more videos this month, more than I've ever done in any month before. So I hope you enjoy these wonderful beats I have on in the background. And I'd just like to say, See you later, bitches, bastards, gamers, and gamies. Have a lovely holiday.